all right so this is going to be a video tutorial on how to dual boot ubuntu with windows 7 i am not sure if this will work on windows 8 or not but uh i'm using 7 yeah so i'm going to dual boot it with 7 quickly we're going to download ubuntu installer from their website you need to google it the links will be in the description of this video download ubuntu desktop and choose what kind of what kind of processor you are using either it is the 32 bit or it is the 64 bit scroll down and now take me down to the download you can click or if you are a really generous person you can pay with paypal for some development of ubuntu softwares the downloading should start in a while as you can see 1.1 gigabyte i'll cancel it out here because i've already downloaded it and the second thing you need to download is probably the universal usb installer i'm gonna head over to the site whose link will be in the description scroll down to this blue button and hit install hit sorry download and i'm gonna cancel this thing also because i've downloaded this previously what we need to do first of all is download uh, this image which i have here of ubuntu 4.10 desktop it is the 32 bit image and uh Next thing is you need to download this universal USB installer something. The link will be in the description of this video. And also you will need is a flash drive where I have mine over here is about four gigabytes of pen drive. So first of all, you're going to format this, make sure you don't have anything. I already have a boot image right now. I'm going to format this thing. Uh, you need to format this thing into a FAT file, not a FAT32, which is the default. You need to install it in a FAT, quick format, and we're going to quickly format this guy. Format, once the format has been done, you see it's blank, quickly start up uh, the universal USB installer software, and I hit run, and wait for it to start up. Yeah, so over here we're going to select the first option of what we need to install. We need the first option is open to which is what we need to install. And you're going to browse here for the .iso file which you downloaded before from the Ubuntu website. Once you've done that, you want to select the pen drive and you don't want to hit anything else. If your pen drive doesn't show, you can click show all drives and browse for your pen drive. Once that's done, you hit create. Yes, to make sure your pen drive is that. And uh, the extracting into the pen drive has been started. So I'm gonna quickly pause the video. I'm gonna head back once it has reached around somewhere around here. All right, so here we can see the process has now been completed. Installation done, process is complete. You wanna hit a close on uh, the installer. Now what we need to do is we need to restart our computer. I'll just, and once that's that, you wanna quickly boot up your PC, press the delete key. Why aren't you focusing? Mm -hmm, yeah, so you wanna quickly press the delete key. You will get into this bios settings and you need to go to advanced bios features and the first thing you need to do is change the first boot device to usb hdd second would be your hard disk from where your windows would load if you are not plugged in with your usb once that's that you want to press f10 to save y and enter Plug in your USB disk and just wait for anything and everything to load up. You will see, and you will be coming down to this menu. This thing, you hit install Ubuntu, which is the second option. And here we have this. This is what is called success installing ubuntu on our desktops and we are just going to wait for the loading to finish and i'll continue on with the video once that's that welcome uh, you need to select your language over here so we are going to install in english 
All right, so we are down to the next screen, which is install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7 is, if that's what you want to do, you want to click install Ubuntu, and if you want to erase and just install Ubuntu, then you can hit erase disk and it's called install Ubuntu, sorry. Yeah, um, so continuing, and then we have the partition. And the next thing you need to do is you need to install you need to give some space to Ubuntu, which you can do by dragging the divider. I am going to give it a 20 gigabytes on my hard disk. You can choose whatever hard disk size you want to give it, depending on your hard disk size. When you hit, once you're done with that, you can hit install now on the bottom. And right once you're done with the hard disk partitioning, you need to select some random stuff. wait for this thing to again load up and we are down to two more steps after this all right so here you have it installation is complete and you can restart your computer to log into your new ubuntu 14.10 thanks for watching and peace out